what's up, it's Jackie. Okay, so first and foremost, <clears throat> you like my hair? Um, if you guys follow me on Instagram, which I'm Jackie St. Germain there also, well, that's my name, I'm Jackie St. Germain everywhere. Um, <laughs> You would have seen my hair yesterday. I love it. Um, like one of the hallmarks of me being pregnant is like me wanting to change like everything about my hair. <laughs> and I already told my hairdresser, I said, you can color it whatever color I ask you to, but do not cut it. So I went red and I'm kind of living for it. Um, I have an obscene haul to show you. I am going to try to keep this quick. I have so much stuff. I have a shopping problem. Like, hello, my name is Jackie, and I'm a shopping addict. Hi, Jackie. Okay, so let's start. Um, I don't even know where to start. Like, this is from everywhere. I've got stuff from everywhere. I'm overwhelmed by the, amount, by the amount of stuff that I bought. Okay, and let me give a shout out to my mom for getting me like the cutest lipstick lamp in history. She found it at a garage sale or something. It's adorable. Okay, so first and foremost, I bought this um, Tarte Waterproof Brow Mousse. Now that we're getting into um, spring and summer, I love my Tarte Volumizing Brow Powder that I have, but I really wanted something that would um, last a little bit longer through the humidity and obviously going to the beach and stuff. So I grabbed this in medium brown. I am wearing this today because I love it. It comes with a brush, so I feel like it's a really good deal. Um, this is the medium brown color, and I really feel like it works for me. It went on so nice. You only have to use a teeny bit. Like, if you're looking for a good summer brow product, I highly suggest this. I love it. You'll love it, too. If you don't, then I don't know what to tell you, but you should. You should. Um... I also bought the Benefit Roller Lash. I did feature um, the little sample one in one of my favorites, I do believe, because I really like this. It reminds me a lot of the Maybelline, what is it called? Lash Sensational, and this is amazing. I don't always go for high-end mascaras. I I mean, yes, even this has pretty much a drugstore dupe, but this is a great mascara. Love it, love it, love it. Um, okie doke. So, I got a package from BH Cosmetics the other day, and I was like, ooh, what did BH Cosmetics send me? Apparently, I blackout shopped on their website and bought stuff. I need to not shop online anymore because my pregnant brain is just... It's not doing good things for me. Not doing good things for me at all. Whatever, I'm increasing the collection of makeup that I don't really need, but whatever. Um, this is the Beach Cosmetics Enhancing Eyes um, palette. This is for brown eyes. So let's just take a little pixie loo in here. Um, some really pretty shades, some more purpley shades, which granted I do not have a ton of, so that's probably why I was attracted to this in the first place. But then again, I couldn't tell you why I bought it because I don't remember buying it. So, oh, I'm dropping things. You know you have a problem. It's a problem when stuff shows at your doorstep that you don't even remember buying. Like, it's kind of, kind of the hallmark of a shopping addict right there just a smidge. Um, I also decided that I needed a couple blush palettes from them because clearly I don't own any blush. So I got two of the blush palettes. Um, this one is the Glamorous Blush Palette. It has 10 blushes in it. I'm like sick of myself. I'm sorry. Oh, these are pretty. 
I feel like a terrible person, but these are gorgeous. And I do not have a blush this color, so that's good for life. Um, so this is the glamorous one, which I'm really drawn to like these kind of violety shades right here. And of course I live for a red blush. Um, if you are looking for a blush color for spring and summer, get a red or coral blush. You will not be disappointed. A, you can sheer it out. It's not going to go on your face like a freaking apple. You know, you're not going to look terrible. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love it. And then I got this. Is this the same palette? Please hold. So, <laughs> apparently, I thought I needed two of the same blush palettes and bought two of the same blush palettes because Lord knows I have a problem. This is the professional blush palette from BH Cosmetics. Also a 10 pan blush palette. Oh, this is really pretty too. And this has um, a really nice contour color and something that could be used for a highlight as well. These two shades down here just a really nice blush palette. I'll have to do like a swatch video with those. Um, next, I bought this Marc Jacobs um, Precision Pen Eyeliner. Sarah Jones has been telling me that this has been giving her life. And if you follow her on Instagram or you're in our Plays Well With Makeup group on Facebook or if you watch her channel, you will know that her cat eye is always so on point. So you tell me the liquid liner to buy, I'll buy it, girl. Um, so this is just like one of those pen ones with the little thingamabob here and it comes out super black. And the nice thing that I like about it is that it like snaps together. So I feel like it's not gonna dry out as fast. Next, I decided I need the Lorac Glow After Glow Palette, apparently, and bought that. I'm pretty sure, oh, I bought this at Nordstrom Rack the other day. <sighs> oh, my goodness, my problems never stop. Okay, and also, I'm not mad at it because it has a lot of colors that are different from the regular shadows that I have, so so be it. Oh my goodness. So I don't have any eyeshadow palettes, so I decided to buy one and I decided to buy the, the Coastal Sense Creative Me One palette. Um, this reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay Electric palette. Um, but what I really like about this palette is all of the colors in here are matte. The other thing that I really like about these Coastal Sense palettes is all of these are interchangeable. So you can actually pop these little hot pots right out. Let's see if I can do it without ruining this. They're magnetized in there so you can pop them out. So if you're trying to create like a super special palette just for yourself, you can do that too. Okay. What? is next. I also got this. This is the Wet n Wild um, Waterproof Liquid Liner because clearly I don't have any eyeliner. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, so I love this. I hope you can see the shame in my face as I'm showing you the, all this nonsense. This is a Kat Von D liquid lipstick. This is in the shade Armageddon. I have a really um, terrible tendency to buy only red liquid lipsticks, so I'm trying to branch out a little bit. So that was a good purchase. I'm sorry that I'm so frustrated with myself right now, but the amount of stuff that I have and haven't used, like, it's shameful. It's shameful, and I'm sorry, and I'm sorry if I'm offending you, and I'm sorry. I decided to get another cream lip stain. 
Oh my goodness. I know, it's like the struggle is real. This is a Sephora brand. This is in the shade um, Watermelon Slice, which I thought was a, like a really pretty coral shade. And it is. I also bought a Too Faced Melted Lipstick. This is in the shade Melted Melon, which is like a nice, bright, bright coral shade. I've used it already, so that's what the tip looks like. Um, if you haven't tried these melted lipsticks, you need to own at least one. They are so comfortable on your lips. You'll love them. You'll love them. I bought some, um, what is this even called? Nail polish? Because <laughs> I don't have any. Um, this is my first bottle of nail polish that I've ever bought. This is the Revlon um, it's new. It's their transforming effects. This one is called Cosmic Flakes. It's like iridescent fish food. Um, just a little topper for that. I also bought this one. It's the same Revlon transformative effects. This one is in holographic pearls. So that's that. Okie doke. What other nonsense do I have in here? Okay, so I decided to buy a long wearing matte liquid lipstick. Okay, again, this is a Sephora brand and I'm trying to just go into colors that I don't have. This is called Lilac Luster. I thought it was really pretty, clearly. That's why I own it now. And that's that. I need to start doing collection videos, except I have so much garbage, like so much crap, like I don't even know where to start. Okay, now, so this is new and beautiful. Um, this is by Becca. This is their Shimmering Skin Perfector and Brushed Blushed Copper. Um, if you haven't tried any of the Becca highlights, they are some of the nicest highlights, and quite honestly, they are not cheap okay i'm not gonna lie but they are so easy to put on you need just the teeniest bit i haven't even put a highlight on today um we should probably do that maybe i'll put this one on um this is beautiful a the packaging is to die and that's what it looks like let's put some on my face but you literally this is a little elf stipple brush that is beautiful this is going to be a great highlight for anybody that has a darker skin tone, anybody that's getting a tan during the summertime. Um, this could double as uh, geez, a freaking eyeshadow. I mean, take your pick where you want to put that on your face. Anywhere is going to be pretty. So next, um, I actually bought this. <laughs> I bought this while we were in Chicago. I had severe buyer's remorse for it just because of how much it was. Um, Rochelle from Glam Moms was nice enough to send me a bunch of samples of this. And then when I ran out of the samples, I was just like, all right, I'm gonna buy this. She happened to have it for sale. She was having a big, you know, makeup sale. So I snagged it from her. And this is the Dior Dream Skin. Um, it's like a primer, but quite honestly, it just does something beautiful to my face. It's just kind of, it's like a liquid filter for your face. It is so pretty. I have worn this just on its own without any makeup. I just feel like it's gorgeous and it's actually skincare. So it does help improve the look of your skin over time too. I love it. It's definitely a splurge, but worth it worth it um i also got this from hard candy this is their felt tip eyeliner i got it in the purple shade which is called storm um so that's what that looks like right there what else did i get so much so much i picked up a couple things from elf they had these little shimmering facial whips they're highlights for your eyes, lips, cheeks, whatever. Um, this one is in the shade Lilac Petal. And then this one is in the shade Pink Lemonade. So again, I tend to use more cream products in the summer if I skip foundation or something and I'm just looking for something quick and easy. I love stuff like this. 
Okie doke, okie doke, okie doke. Um, this also came with that BH Cosmetics order. This is a flawless brow gel, apparently, <laughs> in the shade Dark Brown. Um, that's what the little package looks like. It's one of those little spoolie type, you know, brush on your brows type of deal that clearly my brain thought I needed. Um, the phone. Okie doke. Um, now, Sarah actually found these and sent these to me. I believe these are being sold in Walgreens right now for like a buck is the rumor. And these are the fem feline, female, feline lip lusters. Um, she got it in these three shades for me and I'm loving them. Well, I like the look of them. Granted, they haven't been on my face yet. Okie doke. Oh my goodness, we're almost at the bottom of the barrel. I also <laughs> bought five MAC lipsticks. And I know, I have a problem. So this is what I got. This first one is in the shade Bricola, which is like a really pretty kind of reddish shade, kind of a tawny red. Um, the next one is Hot Tahiti, which looks extremely similar to Bricola. Let's be real. Oh my goodness. Um, the next one is Toxic Tail, which is a really pretty, bright, vibrant, corally red. It kind of matches my nail polish, um, which this is Heat Wave. This is Wet n Wild's Heat Wave, in case you're wondering what's on my fingers. This one is called Stunner. Clearly, I have a problem with red lipstick. I know, I know. I know, don't talk to me about it. I The first step is admitting you have a problem, so I'm at step one. And this is Del Rio, and if you're an Eagle Eye viewer, you're gonna be like, wait a minute, Jackie, you bought Del Rio already? You're right, I did, and now I have it twice. Yes, I know, but it's fine because I can't find the first Del Rio, so <laughs> here's this one. So that is Mahal. Oh my goodness. All right. <laughs> so pray for my soul. I am going to try not to buy any more nonsense until I get through this stuff. And what I would try to like to do, or what I would like to try to do, speaking is fun, let me try to do that. How about I need to start doing videos using all of my products. Um, I'm sorry that the video has been sketchy recently because they just have been. I'm sorry. I'm getting back into my groove now, so you will see more of me, but that's what's going on here. I own all the makeup in the world. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you want something um, specifically swatched, let me know and I will try to do that for you either here or I will, you know, I can post it on my Instagram, whatever. But I hope you guys have an awesome day and I love you all and I will see you later. Bye.